Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. This is cube octahedral fractal graph. So this is a, another fractal graph formed in a similar sort of way to the space filling graph. This obviously isn't space filling or anywhere near it. That's a much more sparse object. Once again, we start with uh, the vertices and edges of a cube. And again, there's a substitution rule. So anytime we see um, a vertex with three edges coming out of it, we're going to replace it. This time we're going to replace it with this object. So there are seven vertices here. Um, the original three edges are replaced by three edges once again, so that we don't have parallel edges this time around. And there are seven vertices here. This should be thought of as being um, part of a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube, and so we're only using seven vertices out of a possible 27, and so um, as you continue recursing the uh, amount of the cube that is sort of filled with vertices gets very small very quickly. So you get this flexible sort of airy object. It's the cube octahedral fractal graph.